Hi, my name is Lucy, and I'm a web design and development instructor at IADT. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use CSS to create and customize your page templates. I'll start with an explanation of templates, HTML and CSS, how CSS works, and then show you how to use CSS to make your pages look exactly the way you want them to. Now that you have finished making your wireframes and mockups, you are ready to start the next phase of making your website, actually building out the templates. Templates are working models of the website pages. They are shells for holding the content and displaying the interactive aspects of the website. We will be building our website with two basic languages, HTML and CSS. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, and it is a universal language for making websites. Files made with HTML describe how the web page content will be displayed to the browser. Right here in Dreamweaver, I have a small HTML file started. You can see that um, I have a few of the elements of the body. Uh, but first of all, before we go any further, I want to type in the title of my restaurant. I'm going to put in Petit Dejeuner. Oops, make that capital. Now let's go ahead and look at this and compare it to the preview. Um, I have the ID for the wrapper, and if you go over here in the preview, you can see that there's a wrapper tag that holds everything together. And then we have the header. Now this has the same measurements as you saw on the wireframe. It's about 960 across and I believe about 135 uh, pixels deep. Next we have the content, so you can see this area. Uh, next is the sidebar where that picture of the coffee was and finally the footer and this is where the extra navigation options were as well as the social media buttons. Let's take a look at the style sheet so far. You can see up here that we're linking to the style sheet so let's take a look at it. CSS stands for Cascading Style Sheets. It is a language that controls how the content will appear on the HTML files. The CSS files determine the visual aspects of the layout of the HTML pages associated with it. To start a CSS file to define traits and styles of the content areas, use the mockups as a guide for determining this criteria. Width measurements, height measurements, margins, padding, float left or right, font family, font size, colors, and alignment. Once the container boxes are built, you can start putting content in the appropriate areas. So you can see the ID for the wrapper, it has these attributes. It, it uh, has, the, it's, the width is 960 pixels across, the height is 700, margin padding. Same with header, we have these attributes, width, height, margin, padding, background. Um, and as you can see, you'll, re you'll recognize some of the IDs from the, the HTML page. But what's really nice about CSS is if you wanna make a change to one of the areas, it's very simple. I'll we'll take, for example, if I wanted to change the background color, maybe I didn't care for this, this uh, off-white kind of tan color. What you can do is go down here, and when you start typing, you can pick another color. Let's say if I wanted to do, I don't know, maybe this blue. Once you pick a color, go ahead and click over on the preview screen. You don't have to save it just yet. Just go ahead and click on here. And you can see that it changed the background color. And if I like this, I could save it, and this change would be applied to all of the pages within my site. Um, this makes it very convenient and, very, and it's, a, it's a great time saver because it keeps you from the ordeal of going to each individual page and changing any attributes. You can just do it all right here in one simple step and makes everything very fluid and, and efficient. Now let's take a look at this, this HTML file of the restaurant to give a more comprehensive view. Now as you can see, I filled in all this information. Um, don't be intimidated. Uh, you, you will, you know, once you get familiar with HTML, you should be able to read all this without a problem. But as you can see, I went ahead and I added in the, the imagery, more of the, uh, the, the logos, the color schemes, all this, uh, the, the text, the Facebook and Twitter icons. 
and just take a quick look over at the CSS. As you can see, a few more things have been added. It's a little bit more comprehensive, but that's what makes it so nice and, and convenient. If you want to make a change, you can just go ahead and add it. Make sure that you spell everything correctly, no extra spaces, no extra little things that can, that can mess up the coding. But anyway, once you get the hang of it, you'll really have a lot of fun and uh, you'll enjoy experimenting with different colors and different attributes. The great thing about CSS is that you can easily make edits to design later, and those edits will be changed uniformly across the site. And that's it for this video on making templates with CSS and HTML. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the next video for how to launch your website.